Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. I'm just going to show you how to do some basic upgrades of a Toshiba Portage R30-A. Now I've done an unboxing video of this laptop, so the link should appear on the screen now, so please click on that to check that out. Now first thing to be aware of is proceed at your own risk. If you see anything different um, to yours than here on the screen, please consult a professional. Now also please take anti-static precautions. Now the first thing you have to do is make sure there's no power connected which is on this side here. Just pull out the power and the battery here. With the battery you have to click both these um, things outwards. The one on this side here uh, it will stay in place. The one on this side you have to hold. So once that's unclipped just slide the battery outwards and there you've got the battery. Um, so if we can get that in focus, doesn't look like it will do it, but here we are, it's a Toshiba rechargeable lithium iron battery, model number PA5162U-1BRS, and it's a 10.8 volt 66 watt 5800 milliamps. So that's the battery itself. Now the unit here we have to get into is this panel here to remove it. There should be four screws. So just, just take a Phillips head screw. And the one I've got is too big. So just bear with me a second while I find a correct head for my Phillips head. So it looks like a Phillips head zero will work. Yep, there we go. So the screws here won't fully come out, just undo them until you hear it sort of clicking. And then that just removes off. So there's a few tabs at the bottom there. Whoops, I'll just show you three tabs at the bottom, which correspond to down here. Just make sure you don't uh, break them off. Now there we have, you can see the memory there, um, the hard drive here, and that should be, there's a screw just here, which should be for the optical drive. And that screw will come out. And no, the optical drive. isn't coming. I'll just check that in a second. There may be another release for that. But here is the actual um, hard drive itself. There's a little plastic tab. Just pull that up and you can see and then pull it out. This is a bit different. Um, it's attached to a little connector here. Remove that connector and there you've got the hard drive. It's not in a mounting um, kit or anything. It's just attached via that one connector there and to pull it up you pull that little plastic one there the memory we've got two slots here um, there's one slots being used and one slots free in this model um, you'll see a couple of little um, silver tabs at either side just push them outwards and the memory will pop up and then you can pu pull the memory outwards that's the memory this one is, just have a quick look, it's a Samsung 4 gig unit. There you go, you can see all the bits and pieces there. And to plug it back up, just make sure the little slot lines up with the slot in the um, socket. Push it in and then push it down until it clicks. So, there you have it. I'll see if I can get this... Um, optical drive out and we can go from there in another video. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.